Yeah, very good work. It was a little bit lucky. I told Juan to go a minute and change and, you know, gallop out in 26 and Juan exactly what he did. Juan's a great work rider, so um, he worked just like the way we wanted him to. With this being the final tune-up, obviously he's done his heavy lifting out in California. So what were you looking for from the horse today? Just to look happy around the track, you know, get one work over it, get him good and settled this week. Um, that's why we came a little early and um, he went very well. We are just, what we wanted to do, like I said, he's had plenty of work in California. So it wasn't about going fast today. It was just about cruising around there. Has he settled in well here at Keeneland? He, he really has. Uh, we had that one real cold day two days ago, but other than that, the weather's been pretty nice and he's doing just great. Seem to like the surface. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a not a hard surface to go over. It's fairly tight, a little bit similar to um, Del Mar, maybe even. How do you feel about it right now with the work being done, the breeze being done, everything's pretty much done. Pretty much way. done. You know, it's a day by day by day till you get to the big day. Um, but we're we're right there, and, and the work was right on schedule, so we're pretty happy. Uh, when you schedule for the week, you probably walk the bar, jog Monday, then gallop up yeah. the race. Yeah. Would he go to the track race day? No, like not on Saturday, okay. but he'll be on the track Monday through Friday next week. John, when you watch him run, is it pure joy or is it relief or is it, what, what are the emotions when you're watching him race? Well, when I watch him race, it's relief, you know, because um, we know he's good enough and you just hope everything goes well. And um, it's exciting at the same time. You know, I kind of save the, the um, you know, that kind of feelings till later. You know, we delay them a little bit. So, uh, but no, was, everything went well. Has anything he's done this year surprised you? Um, not really. You know, he's, he's, he's a, you know, a, nothing he's done to surprise me, you know. to you and your team. I mean, you've worked with some of your guys for decades, you said, and to have this culmination of all this work come together in this horse, what does that mean to you all? Yeah, well, I mean, we we won one of these a few years ago at Churchill. It'd be great to win another one. I've got a top team of grooms and, and um, everybody that works for me. They've been with me a long time. So um, they're right in there doing the march. John, you obviously were very patient with him in terms of bringing him to the races and then spacing his races. What went into the thought process? There? Well, you know, every horse is different, you know, and, and he had the, the hip injury at, 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 his, at his two-year-old later getting to the races. So, you know, it's just been his path, you know. It wasn't that I, I was particularly patient, but uh, we follow, we let the horse lead us. And, you know, the, we try to be good stewards with him because he's owned such talent. Some people, though, would not be that patient. They might try to push him forward, though. Why did you not? <laughs> because I know better. <laughs> you know, you, you know, there, those, you go into these all these old sayings, you know, if if you take care of the horse, they'll take care of you, you know. And, and I just know with horses, you have to, they're individuals, and they all come at their own rate and their own pace. And he showed so much ability, we weren't going to do anything that other than we thought was 100%. John, you can make a case that uh, since American Pharaoh flight line may be the biggest favorite to come in since come in since then to the classic. Could you talk about what that means to you and how you feel about that? Well, I mean, first of all, I respect every horse in the race. It's it's a top class field of horses, really good horses. You have the ascending three year olds, you have the older horses that are, you know, really good horses. So it's you know, it's a very good race. We don't take anything for granted. We don't take any of our competition for granted, you know, so we'll just look ahead towards next weekend and, and um, we see the draw Monday. That'll help us kind of line up some strategy, who lands at what post, things like that. But right now um, we're happy today and we're, that's about it, I guess. Yeah, we have wonderful ownership. We have Jane Lyon, who's the, the breeder. Um, she kept a leg of them as, as a two year, as a yearling. Heronis Racing, my principal client, they're great. We have West Point Thoroughbreds. I don't have to tell you about them, they're great. So we got a really good group of owners and they've been very, um, very understanding on what needed to get done. And I gotta give a special thanks to David and Gordo 
who's kind of helped me on the management side. He gets out the, the, the details out to the partnership and everything like that. But the ownership has been great. How did it come together? I mean, who, who bought the horse originally and then did they sell pieces or was it all before the sale they came together? I, well, you're going to probably ask David and Gordo because he, he put the deal together. I was in California when they bought him. I'd seen pictures of him and I'd talked to David on the phone. And I think, um, you know, how it came together, he'd have the answers on that. You'd seen pictures and everything. When you first got him in your barn, what was the uh, impression? Well, I saw him when he came down from Saratoga in November. Um, he was still in Kentucky before he went down to Florida as a two-year-old. I drove out to Lane's End and, and looked at him and saw what a great-looking horse he was. And, you know, he's, he's just one of those prospects you want to have in the barn. And then hopefully they, they step up. Could you tell? I mean, how quickly could you tell this one's special? He's never hit his talent since we've had him, and even in Ocala. Um, nobody's ever been around him has been surprised by how good he is. He's always shown great ability from day one. As you said on paper, the competition is better than he has seen so far. Is it too much to expect him to run away from the field again? I'm not, I don't get into that, you know. Um, well, the races always play out like they play out. And my main concern is having him in great shape for next Saturday. And then you got really a great rider in Flavian Pratt to ride him. He'll kind of decide what he wants to do.